Hey guys, Bushcraft Family back again, and yes, this is my second video for today, and I usually try to stay away from doing that, but um, this is a very important subject here, and I thought that it needed to be put out there. Um, Lake Fairy Preppers sent me this this link because I, I, as you may know, I last last week I did a, a video about. Um, in Canada, they were doing the the no the no juice, no food thing, and now it's here in the United States. So it's something that we have to um, get ready for. And for those who aren't right now, it, it's it's a bit scary and. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go over a, a few articles of, and I, and believe it or not, um, I found quite a few of these articles. But I'm just gonna do the first two that's that that has popped up, and well, let's go ahead and jump over here real quick. As you can see here, let me see if I can zoom this in a little bit so you can see it better screen yep no juice no food spokane which is spokane washington uh, christmas food pantry requires proof of juice or a test to get food yep for those people that are in need for christmas for a christmas dinner you have to you have to have one of these two things before you can get food from from this place and for those the, those who that I did get comments from and most because they were not very nice comments that I got when I talked about this with Canada and said that it eventually it will make its way here and i got called fear monger this and that and all kinds of stuff here's your proof this is what's happening and this is what is here now and will start spreading all over the place um and let me go ahead and zoom back out to normal here and we're going to go over to this other one. I'm not going to play the video because I don't want to get in trouble. In this same area, Spokane, Spokane customer, customers support Boots Bakery amid juiced requirement backlash. Um, and they're getting a backlash because the only way you can get served in this bakery lounge is if you have proof of juice from you know the stuff and yeah boots bakery and lounge owner i'm not going to say her name but you can read it and her team decided to re require people to be juiced for dine-in cust customers as well as a way to protect their small staff um, which as you may know it does not protect you um, and they, they did get some negative feedback but again this, this is their choice to do this that, that that's her business and everything if she she wants to do it that that's fine but um not being knowledgeable in the stuff that you're putting in your body um right right here it says a way to protect their small staff it doesn't protect you it's not an immunity it does it's not some cure that you will not get the thing that's going around right now um even mr 
change his mind every five minutes, Fauci dude. He even says it's you can still you can still catch it even if you're fully three or four doses into getting the juice. And that that's the issue I have. I don't that's that's her right, the the owner of this place to make it that way. Um, that's not, not the issue I have with it is the false knowing saying, oh, it's it's to protect my staff, but it doesn't. That's the thing. And that's that's what everybody's got in their mind been because Spokane of business has decided to require proof of vaccination oops, to dine that's in. not good so crim two's nicole hernandez is live from boots bakery this morning explaining where is that coming the from oh, no. and the response they've had from some customers okay they got rid of that hopefully i don't get trouble for that um okay where was i at um yeah that's see that's what i'm getting at is um yeah it's she's a private owner of this business that's her her choice to do it but all i can say is you get social media the the big time media companies cnn and all that places they they tell you how you how you're you're protected and you won't get it and if you you're fully fully juiced you're you're good to go well there you have it it's it's not true learn this learn this stuff but you know darn good and well this is not going to be the end there's other other places that are, are doing this now um, when, when you have a charitable place a food a food bank a pantry doing this this is in the United States Spokane Washington um, eventually it, it will spread to the rest of the country and soon we will not be able to um, go shopping go to a restaurant um, whatever the case may be um, it, it, it's coming guys so um, be ready that's all I can say and like I said I don't usually, usually put out double videos like this but um like lake 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 Ferry said it, it it needs to be put out there so people people know and yeah that that's pretty pretty much all i got to say about this i just wanted to get this information out um it's it's coming guys that's all i can say is we need to be ready for what is coming and god bless have a nice day